Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for SO3 2 minus. We have our Lewis structure here and we see that we have three oxygens bonded to the sulfur, but very importantly, there's a lone pair of electrons out here as well. So according to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, we want to imagine that those three oxygens and that lone pair of electrons are going to spread out, push each other apart as far away as possible. And that'll give us our molecular geometry for SO3 2 minus. We can also use the AXN notation to figure out the molecular geometry. A, that's that sulfur in the center there. X, that's the number of atoms bonded. There are three oxygens, so we'll put a three right there. And then N, that's the number of non-bonding electron pairs. And we have a pair right here, so we'll put a one for the N. You could have memorized that AX3N is trigonal pyramidal, sometimes called trigonal pyramidal, or you could look it up in a table if you're allowed to do that. So as we go down our table, we have AX2, AX3, AX2N, AX2N2, and there it is, AX3N. That is trigonal, pyramidal, and has bond angles of 109.5 degrees. If we looked at the three-dimensional structure for a trigonal pyramidal molecule, it would look like this. The red, that's the central sulfur, and the oxygens, those are the white. They aren't the correct colors, but the shape's the same. And don't forget, we have a lone pair of electrons kind of floating there on top of that central sulfur. So for the trigonal pyramidal, the bond angles are 109.5 degrees. And that's the same as these bond angles here and this one here. So that's the molecular geometry or shape for SO3 2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.